We've been in Bangkok for a few days now doing Bangkok things like eating street food in Chinatown, shopping, checking out new markets. We even came at the perfect time and got to meet up with some old friends and meet some new friends. However, today we have a very fun video planned for you. Join us as we get fully immersed in Thai culture and explore Bangkok the old-fashioned way. just got to Sense of Thai, which is a Thai costume rental shop. It seems like everyone is very busy glowing up. There may be a wait for us. Note is just going to go check the price and see what the package is for a daily rental. So what's the plan? There's quite a lineup. So we're number 21. She said it will take around 45 to an hour. Okay. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. bad. It's not bad. Nice and AC room. Why not? They did say that if you want to beat the rush to come at 10.30. 10 30. Yeah. Because it's quite busy. This is like the newest trend that people are doing. The people who are here are actually quite varied. We have heard Vietnamese, we've heard Korean, Thai. Um, there are some foreigner boyfriends as well here. I would say like 50% Thai and 50% are tourists. Look at these. These girls are so pretty. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Wow, that contrast color is actually really nice. Uh, should we go for this one? Blue and light blue for me and matchy matchy. Matchy matchy or contrast? We'll see. Let's take a look at, at what they have. Yeah, we can check their Instagram. See, that's a nice contrast. These photos are so nice because you can actually hire a photographer to follow you everywhere. But the clothes rental itself is pretty reasonable. It's yeah. like 550 to 850 baht per set. And they give you like little uh, accessories and handbags. And then there is someone who will help us to put the whole set together and match everything. I think I got the one I like. Which one? Gonna go for green. Oh, what do you think? That is quite nice. Yeah. You would look good in green too. Well, I was looking at blue before. This one here? I like this one. Yeah. But I don't quite have that pale skin tone, so maybe we can try. Yeah, we see. can try both. It looks like you can also bring your own makeup artist. There's some people getting their makeup done, but most of the girls walking in, they already have their full makeup done, which is looking really beautiful. <laughs> I feel like I didn't quite do I think you look pretty enough. already. Thank you. Just perfect, not too much. Maybe I can steal. <laughs> Maybe I can steal that the fake eyelashes. <laughs> Here we have oh, for the girl we have 600, 700. This one and the glitter bling bling will be 800. You see color and you tell me which color they like. Um, this is gonna take a while to do. It's so hard to decide. I do want to try a green one. Green one. This dress has a new style, right? Oh, wow! I think that looks really nice on mm. on you. Yeah. And I show you one more. Matches yeah. your skin color. I feel like I'm so elegant already. <laughs> I think this one looks good. Yeah. I the think green. green. Yeah. Okay. I'll do green. the green. Okay. I take this one. Thank you. มีแบบชุดแบบนักรบที่แบบถอดเสื้อโชว์กล้ามไม่มีไม่มีค่ะแล้วเท้าถอดเองเท้าแต่ลงกระเวน That's not quite elegant anymore เหมือนแบบนายขนมต้มอะไรอย่างเงี้ย What do you think? Green? Not fair, you look good in anything Next, this one golden brown Oh, this one nice too Oh, this one brown no, I think this one. This one. Okay. <laughs> it has more contrast. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. You look so beautiful. 
Okay, you're gonna see Floyd. She's so gorgeous. Here we go. Wow. How do I look? Beautiful. You even got a little purse. Yeah, and look at everything I can fit in my purse. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case it gets really hot. I can't even put my phone in there. That's all I can put. Good this will enough. become handy because it looks really hot. Yeah. <laughs> so the plan today is we're going to dress up like this and we're going to go take some photos and explore Wat Arun and also outside the Grand Palace because we're actually in the area. Yes. But it's really hot outside so we're going to make a quick stop at a traditional Thai dessert place first. Sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I'll be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling. Never felt so real. My heart is on. I gotta be honest, it's a little hot. Yeah, it's. But it's, it's not bad. It's like manageable, yeah. bearable. I think we should get the Thai traditional uh, set. Perfect. So we ordered two teas. We ordered a pandan tea and also the butterfly pea tea. And it's really pretty because you can see the ice cubes have pandan in it. Wow. Everything looks super photogenic today. This one is going to be like magic because I'm going to change the color. You put the lime juice syrup. I think you did it wrong. No, it was blue. Now it's oh, purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of purple pinkish. It's so beautiful. So this tea set includes all these snacks here, mango sticky rice, and also these ones here. And includes one tea and it's all for 499 baht. We tried to ask what these things were. I'll test my memory here. This one is Floy Tong, which is egg yolk cooked in syrup. Uh -huh. And these ones are mung bean cooked in syrup. This one is a sticky rice with grated coconut that is cooked in like a palm sugar caramel. And then mango sticky rice, of course, most people know already. These ones are more complicated. Um, most of them have a little bit of coconut milk and tapioca flour in there, but they're all like handcrafted and it's super beautiful and very detailed. How pretty this is. It's supposed to taste like nutmeg. Mmm, so good. This one used to be my childhood favorite. It's called metkanun, which translates to jackfruit seed. Because it looks like jackfruit seed. So this one is shredded coconut cooked in uh, palm sugar syrup on top of uh, coconut sticky rice. Wow, that's a huge bite. The shredded coconut probably cooked in syrup and some salt. You know, the interesting thing is, of all the dessert here, mango sticky rice is the only one that is invented by a Thai. The rest are like inspired by Portuguese. I have to say, you look very, very handsome. Thank you. We're like super extra today, huh? <laughs> Dressed like this to eat Thai sweets. I think it's such a perfect setting to do this. Mm -hmm. This part of town, this part of Bangkok is so Thai. You have the Wat Po mm -hmm. right here. You have the King Palace. Mm -hmm. You have the river with the long tail boat. So it's kind of like they preserve the old ways of living around here. We have been getting quite a lot of looks from people, but it's like really good looks. Like they're so interested. Like, what are these people up to? And I think a lot of people don't know you can dress up. Or if they've seen people do this, they might think it's very expensive, but it's actually not. No, mine costs 600 baht. 
Yeah, full rental for like seven hours. With accessories and everything, and mm -hmm. yours is mine was eight fifty because uh, like different material is like different costs. I think it's it's very affordable and it's kind of a fun, unique thing to do, and you can probably take some really good photos when you're in Bangkok. We're gonna try to take some good <laughs> photos today. <laughs> see a lot of tourists come here and they buy elephant pants so that they can look Thai, you know, and experience the Thai culture. But not us! Not us! We go full on! <laughs> so we were just going to walk by Wapo, which is where the reclining Buddha is. But we took a glimpse inside and it looks so beautiful so we decided to come in. It's free admission for note anyways because he's Thai so I just had to buy a ticket and it was 200 baht. So the grounds are pretty massive here. I'm glad we were practical and we wore Converse instead of something really like heels. I wouldn't wear heels. True. I, I mean, I sh wouldn't wear heels. I shouldn't wear heels. We're now in the main temple where the reclining Buddha is. And wow, it is bigger than what we thought it would be. Yeah, I didn't realize the scale of this reclining Buddha is... And um, like, the crazy artwork around this building is so nice. It's probably like four to five stories yeah. high. And he's... And he's sleeping, he's reclining. <laughs> Imagine how tall it would be. If he was standing. I mean, yeah. Uh, nice and cold. Uh, so it's around 4 p.m. now. We have three more hours of the rental because we have to go back to the shop before 7 p.m. We're going to start heading to Wat Arun, which we are very excited about because we need to go take a boat ride yeah. to cross the river. for you. 100 baht. But another bottle of water. But it's free for me. <laughs> it is free for you. Wow. It's so beautiful. And it's not as hot anymore. Let's go wander. a lot of walking today but we had a lot of fun we have been to some of the places like Wat Arun before but dressing up in Thai traditional wear and coming here is just a whole different experience we think it is a really cool activity for couples to do for friends we also see some families also dressing up and taking photos so if this is something you want to try next time you're in Bangkok we'll leave the link of the place in our description box below and we'll also link all the other places the temples and the dessert place that we went to today. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Sodika. Sodika. Bloopers.